Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and this is my tutorial on how to install all the mods that I'm using in my Season 3 Let's Play series. Uh, this is from Minecraft 1.1 and it's pretty much got all the latest mods that are out at the moment. Uh, there might be some updates coming along. I'm going to have a forum post. The forum post will have a link to all the mods, where to download them. You're going to need to download and install the mods yourself. However, I'm going to supply you with all the config files that you need to use with the mods. So that should make it a lot easier and avoid block ID conflicts and random setting changes and all that stuff. So hopefully it should be pretty easy for you guys to install these mods. So without further ado, let's get started on how to install all the mods I'm using. First off, you should probably start with a fresh Minecraft folder. The best way to get to your Minecraft folder in either Windows 7 or Windows XP is go to your start menu and go to run and type percent app data percent like that. That's going to jump straight to the application data folder of your current user. And your Minecraft folder is going to be right there. This is your current install and everything that you've done in Minecraft is sitting right here at the moment. You want to be careful not to delete this if you're afraid of losing your current worlds. You should probably back it up or do something with it to keep it safe. I recommend backing it up, but what I'm going to do is just delete it because I'm ready to delete it. I've already made a backup copy of this. Again, backups are important and make sure to back things up whenever you're changing mods. Alright, now that there's no .minecraft folder, next time I launch Minecraft, it's going to automatically create one. As you can see in the background there, a Minecraft folder was created. I'm going to go ahead and log in now. Now that I've entered my login credentials, I can hit the login button. When I log in, Minecraft is going to automatically download the latest version of the game. And as you can see, a bin folder has been created here. It's also going to download everything it needs. And this is your standard Minecraft install. And all your files start coming down. Also, the resources start coming down behind the scenes. You can probably close Minecraft at this point. You don't need to do anything. Inside your bin folder, you're going to find your minecraft.jar. Now you're going to need a program that can open this. I personally use 7-zip, and that's a nice zip ar archive utility. You can use WinZip, you can use WinRAR, pretty much any zip utility can open up this Minecraft jar. You're going to want to right click on the Minecraft jar and do open archive. And this is everything within the Minecraft jar. Next, you want to be prepared with all the mods that you want to download and install. So make sure to have downloaded everything ahead of time. I personally separate them into two groups, mods that need to go into your Minecraft jar and mods that need to go into the mods folder. Right now there is no mods folder in your .minecraft because mod loader has not been installed yet. Let's go ahead and install a couple of the Minecraft jar files right now. All you need to do is go into your jar files and here are the ones that need to go into the jar. The audio mod which allows sounds in the game, convenient inventory is one that I like to use, Minecraft Forge, Mod Loader, and Mod Loader MP are APIs that make it easier for programmers to make changes and use the mods. And Not Enough Items is uh, similar to Too Many Items. Uh, it's a neat little utility and I personally like it. You need to unzip each of these and drag the contents of them into the Minecraft jar. All you have to do to unzip is right click on it. If you have 7-zip or WinZip, just extract to a folder. Now we've got a Mod Loader folder. Everything inside that folder, you want to left click and drag into your Minecraft jar. Yes. For now, I'm just going to install Mod Loader and Mod Loader MP. Remember, you need to unzip your files before you can drag them into the jar. So here's Mod Loader MP. I'm going to drag these in. And a very, very important step is to delete the meta inf. Just highlight this inside your Minecraft jar and hit the delete key on your keyboard. And it's deleted. Now we can close out, go back up to our .minecraft folder here, and run Minecraft again. This time when we log in, you'll note that it's automatically going to create some folders, config and mods. Perfect. It'll also create some stuff within resources as well once you get ready. But for now, your config is where all your config settings are stored, and the mods folder is where you're going to want to put some mods. Now that these folders are created, we can move on with the next steps. For now, let's go back into our bin, your Minecraft jar, and open that guy back up. Get to your jar mods, and let's install audio mod next. Same deal as before. Grab everything and drag it in. Yes. We should do Minecraft Forge after that. Everything 
into the jar. Excellent. Next up, we should do not enough items. And finally, I like to use convenient inventory. Of course, that's optional. This is the mod that allows you to middle click and sort items, to alt click to pull everything out. It's a pretty neat mod. The unique thing about convenient inventory is the ft.class file is also part of not enough items. And not enough items has been coded to be compatible with convenient inventory. So if you're using not enough items or too many items, you don't want to copy this ft.class in. You only want to grab your convenient inventory.class and put that in the jar. And that should be all the files that need to go into your jar. You can now close out and launch Minecraft again. Let's log in. And as long as you get to the loading screen, you should be in pretty good shape. As you saw, we got an error. That's because I missed a critical step. Um, the NEI mod, not enough items, requires an item be in the mods folder. And that item is code chicken core. That's an important component that's a prerequisite for not enough items. So make sure to get that one into your mods folder before launching Minecraft. Now when we load it up, you'll see we get to the logins, the single player, multiplayer screen, all that good stuff. So now we've got a vanilla Minecraft, and if we create a world, this is optional, but I'm just going to show you guys real quick. Now that we have a world created, we can open up our inventory. We'll see that not enough items is installed, and we've got just vanilla blocks in the game. No mods have been added at this point, but your jar is all ready. Now we can start adding mods. And that is pretty much the most difficult part of installing all these mods. Now all we need to do is grab all the mods that you're going to use as part of your game. I've downloaded them and prepared them right here. Everything I'm going to use is right here except equivalent exchange, and that's a special case, and I'll show you what the deal is in a moment. So all you have to do is open your mods folder and copy all the downloaded mods right in there. And Code Chicken Core was already there, so it's not a big deal. Just overwrite it if you get that message. So there you go. You're ready to use all these mods. Now the one special case is equivalent exchange. If we extract the equivalent exchange zip file, you'll note that it's got a mods folder and a resources folder. The mods folder has your equivalent exchange.zip, and the resources folder has all the sounds that are part of equivalent exchange. You can just grab these two folders and drag them into your .minecraft copy. And yes, you can overwrite. And all that's going to do is put the equivalent exchange zip where it belongs, and it's going to put the resources in where they belong so that you can get equivalent exchange sounds. Very cool. So now that we've got all these mods ready to use, we need to make sure that none of them conflict with each other. Most of them at this point have IDs that auto-detect, but I've made it easy for you guys. If you download my Season 3 Episode 1.zip, all the config files are there. Buildcraft, config, and red power, as well as some of these files. Just drag those into your .minecraft and overwrite whatever it asks if you're sure you want to do. Copy and replace for everything. Perfect. Now let's launch Minecraft and see how much luck we have. We've got to the log to the screen here, so that's a good sign. And if we were to create a new world at this point, the first sign that we did things right is that we have some red power trees here. That's a good sign. And if we open up our inventory, you'll note that you've now got 20 pages of stuff. And if we start flipping through, we'll see some blutricity items that are part of red power. Uh, you'll see some of the red power ores and gates. You'll see some equivalent exchange items, some buildcraft items, some forestry items, all kinds of good stuff. The laser mod items, very cool industrial craft stuff. So it looks like we did what we were supposed to do. If we skip down to the pipes, we see some gates from Buildcraft 3.0, some teleport pipes, and even some logistics pipes, and some sneaky pipes. So, looks like we did things properly. And that should be all you guys need to do to get started using my mods. 
So I hope you have some good luck with this video. This is Direwolf20 signing off on how to install my mods. Again, I'm going to have a forum post where you can go download all these mods, and uh, it should make things pretty easy for you guys to get. Also, stay tuned to that how to install post, because as I add things to the game, I'm going to be putting them there, along with the config files that you need to add into this install. Hopefully this will make it easy for you guys. Uh, you'll note that Portal Gun is not yet a part of this. Um, Portal Gun I have a copy of, but it's not available to the public yet, so I want to wait for it to be public before I put it in my, you know, game. So uh, as soon as that guy goes public, which from what I've heard might be a day or two, uh, you guys can go ahead and download it and add it in. Just check my post to see if there's any special things you need to do. Take it easy.